have any offers. I don't really know why. Because I think, I honestly think, I work harder than anybody that I know. But at the same time, it's, it's my life and it's their life. If somebody else is picking up offers, hey, it's just their time. My time will come. But until then, I'll just have to keep working. Got instrumentals. Playing basketball since I was seven, I think. That's when my brother first put the ball in my hand. And I just did it basically because he was making me to at first. But then over time, I became to love it because I used to always be at the gym. I used to always be with my brother, no matter where he went. We, no matter what it took, we got to the gym and did work. And I think that's where my my work ethic really started from, from my brother and like being at the gym all the time. I remember we used to wake up like 7.30 in the morning, get up, knowing I didn't want to, cause I was a little kid, but got up, got dressed, ate. Sometimes we didn't even eat. Went outside, went up the street, went to the bus stop, waited on the bus, Bus came, got on the bus, got all the way to the bus station. Then we had to get off one bus to get on the next bus that came by Florida High. And then they would stop up the street where we're about to get up to. And we'll get out and walk the rest of the way and just be in the gym all day long until my mom got off work to come pick us up. Just be in the gym working all the time, day in and day out. At the time, I wasn't really thinking about I'd be at this level, being able to possibly play college basketball. But now to think of it, I'm glad that my brother did that. Because I don't really know what I'd be doing if I wasn't playing basketball the way I do now. I'd probably play football, but I don't love it like I love basketball. college and I get the opportunity to play at the next level and be within that third percent it don't matter if I got to go to another country to play it really doesn't matter but those are the most consistent recently I got a handwritten from South Dakota State most you probably see me on Instagram oh yeah by the way follow me mr. underscore LOE and then Twitter TNA underscore 44 but yeah, recruiting's been, it's been a, a trip. Because no matter what a coach says, you always have to keep working hard. If you're not working, you're not really gonna keep, keep in contact with even more that summer playing with OTBS, working out with my brother, 
came back ninth grade and I've been playing bars. I've actually been starting point guard since ninth grade. Nothing, nothing can be given to you. God's given you a gift, but he hasn't given you the gift fully. He's given, he's given you a part. And you have to work on that part. And you have to put things on that part. You have to add to that part. And then you'll get to see how hard you work when you look back at it. Eighth and ninth grade, I don't even think I was touching the net, to be honest. But I worked hard, and in ninth grade, we were at practice. And I seen one of my teammates, uh, Jordan Gaskins, and I was, he went up and done it. I was like, oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go get it. And I went up done it for the first time. It was a rim grazer, but I still felt happy for it. But yeah, that was basically it. You just gotta work hard, do what you gotta do. Oh yeah, AAU Disney, well, what's TBS? I'm talking about whole game, everybody dunked it. I think Ronnie got two, um, Quan got, Quan got two, and I was like, okay, I'm about to get one. So, we get the, Trey get the rebound, and wanna start, uh, wanna start over dribbling. So I'm like, oh, you gotta pass that up. But then the defender slid over and stopped it, so we had to wait. So then I get, I think we had a free throw. And I'm talking to the dude on the other team. I'm like, hey, bro, we already won. So just, just let me get this done. He was like, all right. So he slid up a little bit. They threw me the outlet, went up, dunked it down. I had to check the ball for the crowd. My goal for this year. I plan to be all Big Ben player of the year and to be Mr. Basketball of Florida. I know it's going to take a lot being from little old Tallahassee, but whatever it takes, I will be Mr. Basketball.